Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Nine Malls As Seen on TV and Gadget and Food Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review a fun product by a company that I've been buying a lot of stuff from them lately. Uh, this is the Bird's Eye Cauliflower Wings Garlic Parmesan. So I guess it's a healthier, you know, quote unquote wings. And yeah, so this is uh, the Bird's Eye Cauliflower ring, Wings Garlic Parmesan food review here. Sauce pouch included lightly breaded cauliflower florets with a garlic parmesan sauce. So Bird's Eye is making good stuff over there. I've been buying a lot of their vegetables. Uh, it's like their, their protein pack of vegetables, and those are really good. But this is one that I thought was really interesting, if it actually is good. These are cauliflower wings, garlic parmesan, sauce pouch included. But yeah, pretty, pretty unique here. All right, so 3.5 servings per container, 240 calories. Wow, look at that. 900 milligrams of sodium or 35%. That's a little bit of protein at 6 grams. Uh, no cholesterol. First ingredient, good sign there, is cauliflower. Then you have wheat flour, garlic parmesan sauce. Kind of breaks things down. Let's see. Does that have flavor enhancers? I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, yeah, it has ye dried yeast. Uh, yeast extract, which is a flavor enhancer. I'm not sure what monocalcium phosphate is. Doesn't look like it has high, or, uh, MSG, but yeah, so it has some of that yeast extract. All right, so the directions are microwave on high, or you remove the cauliflower from bag and place on a microwave plate, uh, safe plate. Microwave on high, f four to five and a half minutes. Check that the food is cooked thoroughly. So yeah, all right, here we go. Let's put on a plate and microwave this bag here. Or this, what's in here? All right. Let's see, do I, look at those. Cauliflower wings right there. Okay. I think you cooked this as well. All right, so I'm just gonna cook everything together for, gonna try four minutes and then see what it looks like. Uh, this is another item for the oven, but since it's a uh, Facebook Live and save time, I'm not gonna do that. Also, it'd be a great, another great item for uh, your air fryer. So once again, <laughs> I'm recommending the air fryer. All right, so put it on four minutes and let's go. I'm not sure about the packet, no. <laughs> I think so. I'll just check it like in maybe in two minutes. Oh, oh, here we go. Place sauce pouch in warm water. Okay, you're right. All right, I'm gonna take that on the bike with now. All right, good call, good call. So I'm gonna put this in warm water here. I'm gonna get a bowl. Okay, so here we go. Hot water there. Yeah, it does give directions. We kind of separate it. It says warm water to thaw. I use hot water. Yeah. Probably would have cooked the sauce, which wouldn't have tasted good. So glad I caught that and you alerted me to that. I've been eyeing these forever. Nice. Yeah, I saw them and I was like, wow, cauliflower wings. That actually looks really good. Uh, Bird's Eye is a brand that I've been buying quite a, quite a few things from lately. So I didn't realize they made this many products. I thought it was just vegetables. All right, we have 26 viewers. It's pretty good. Judy says, hope it's good. I want to try. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, yeah. It could be a regular thing that I'm going to get. But I guess as far as the 
Yeah, 240 calories per serving. I guess that's not too bad. Let's see. 3.5 servings per container. It's about four pieces per serving. I'd say the only thing that stands out is if you're watching sodium, the sodium stands out as pretty high. That's the only thing I'd see. Doesn't have much sugar, which is good. I guess, you know, even the dipping sauce has a little bit of fiber. All right. So that's the sauce that came with it. It came in this pouch. Um, a lot of bird's eye products you cook in the package. This one you do not. And I'm just cooking it in the microwave uh, to save time, but I would definitely cook this in the oven or if you have an air fryer. Thirty-five viewers, thirty-seven. It's going up. Everybody wants to see the cauliflower wings. Sauce pouch included. This is the garlic parmesan flavor. Um, just a few more seconds. I put on four minutes. I'll probably have to put on more, but I didn't want to like ruin these things. It said four to five and a half minutes. 43 viewers. That's going up. It's pretty good. Everybody wants to know about bird's eye cauliflower wings. This is the first time having them. I've never even seen these before. I got them. All right, let me just show them to you. Uh, I felt the one of the, the middle ones and it needs more time, definitely needs more time. So I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna set the timer for another minute. I guess the smell in the kitchen is kind of like a breading smell slash vegetable smell. I guess that's expected considering what it is. Hey Krista, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Cooking bird's eye. The likes and the hearts are coming through. Sometimes they're not, but the, today they are. <laughs> They have other flavors? Yeah, they do. They have a lot of other products. And so I'm gonna kinda keep an eye out for like more interesting items from them. Uh, I thought it was just steamed vegetables, but I guess they make, I mean, this is a vegetable, but it's, you know, it's breaded, so it's a little bit different. All right, so check this out. The price is about three bucks. I think that's a good price for get what you're getting. Uh, you get quite a bit. I mean, this feels heavy. To me, it feels more more than three point uh, or thirteen point two five ounces. It feels like a pound or something. And it comes with a sauce packet. So, I mean, you get a lot of sauce here. I don't know what it is, but you get a lot of it. All right, <laughs> I think it's a little bit frozen. Um, so I think that's enough right there. Oops. I don't want to soak it. Okay. So, let me get a fork. One second. Let me get a fork here. And, first I want to try the sauce. What does it taste like? Okay. So the sauce is like, it's like a vinaigrette or something. Um, there's definitely some like gar garlic. Maybe the Maybe the sauce is the garlic parmesan, but it also tastes like a vinaigrette. It tastes like a, you know, like a Thousand Island, or not a Thousand Island, but like a, yeah, like a vinaigrette. Like a four, is it called Four Seasons or, I don't know. All right, so here we go. I think it's just breaded cauliflower and the garlic parmesan is this. But here we go. Let's give it a taste test. Three, two, one. So it's a real nice breading. Um, it's not mushy. There's like a substantialness, a, a, a chewiness. 
definitely would taste better being like real crispy. And you, I could see you could you could get this actually really crispy because just in the microwave it still has like a chewiness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, burn your mouth. Um, yeah, they're not quite that hot, but <laughs> all right. So let's let's uh, give it another taste test here. This is good. So this is where the, it's just breaded cauliflower, like someone said. And then the, the flavoring, the garlic parmesan comes from this. Um, so that's where the flavor comes from. I would say this, this tastes like breading. And then maybe you get a little, a tiny bit of vegetable cauliflower flavor. I think cauliflower on its own really doesn't taste like that much. The cauliflower isn't chewy. It's kind of like mushy. So really what you're getting is a lot of like, I mean, it's a good breading. So you're getting a lot of good breading flavor. This is not bad breading. This is good breading. It's actually really good. I mean, I could definitely finish off this plate no problem. This It's actually pretty good. But uh, let me cut one open so you can see what it looks like. I'll cut this. No, well, no. I'm actually going to cut this big one over, open. So yeah, you can kind of see it. Huge piece of cauliflower right there. Uh, lots of breading, but not not too thick. Let me just put a little bit. Yeah, would I buy it again? Um, maybe. I think they make birds that make so like really really good. There's one I uh, get called protein blend. So. That's what I get on a regular basis. This, I would say, is like more of a like a snack, like a treat type of thing. So as far as that goes, yeah, I would get it again. It's just not normally what I would buy, I guess. Let me try this one more time. But I would say if you're looking for breaded vegetables, this is definitely a good option. It does taste good. I would absolutely cook in the oven or air fryer. And you can dip it in whatever you want. I mean, this is like garlic Parmesan flavor, but you could dip it in anything because really all the flavoring comes from the sauce. This is just breaded uh, vegetables. Let me look at the ingredients. Um, yeah, the ingredients here. So, garlic parmesan sauce includes water, cheese powder, milk, salt, cheese cultures, enzymes, milk, sunflower oil, vinegar, grated parmesan cheese, um, canola oil, granulated garlic, cornstarch, salt, yeast extract. I don't know, check that out. Kind of goes on and on. Yeah, but not bad. I would say this is like something you can make uh, for like an appetizer, like an hors d'oeuvre. You know, like at a, if you're watching the sporting event, I could see bringing these out. It probably is like a little bit but healthier alternative to um, other other snack foods, but. I would say it's good. It's not normally what I'd normally buy, but it is good for what it is. So I, I would recommend it. And if you can find it for around $3, three, $3, I think it's actually a really good deal. So once again, it's the bird's eye cauliflower wings, garlic parmesan, lightly breaded cauliflower florets with a garlic parmesan sauce. And let me just cut into one again. I'll show you what they look like in case you're just joining me. So you can see how thick the breading is. So it's just kind of lightly breaded around this little cauliflower. And they actually are the florets. They're not like, you know, anything else. So they look pretty good.
So thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for joining. We got up to about 40 viewers, which is pretty good. And until next time, I'll see you later. More food, gadget, reviews, and interesting items coming soon. Uh, my goal this month is 20,000 stars. I'm 38% of the way there, so that's great, actually. I definitely beat last month. And thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.